Never skip breakfast. Here is why. We are one unified field. Of course, we got a physical form, but by our true nature, we are an energy field that is structured by meridians. We're coming into this physical body in order to fulfill a certain specific mission, and we perceive the density of the universe, and that's physical. However, in our nature, we are Qi. And everything in this physical world is connected. Everything relates to each other. So it's all one unified field that has got its purpose as a working unity, not as an individual. As soon as we separate from it, then we're experiencing all kinds of symptoms and we're experiencing despair and we're experiencing all kinds of disarray with our mission. And we therefore feel alienated and separated. And we know in holistic therapy, it is to become holistic means wholesome, means to unite with all there is that we're experiencing not only healing, but also well-being, happiness, and we become a positive instrument for others because we impact and influence others in a positive manner and we start guiding. So there's lots of good reason for it, why we need to be unified with the bigger field. I'll come to my chief corner where the ancient wisdom of the Taoist meet the contemporary application. And today's topic is breakfast. Because we hear so much about skipping breakfast, intermittent fasting, etc. However, I look at it from a perspective how it actually really matters in the bigger picture. Because when we're skipping breakfast, we're separating from the bigger picture and we think we've got an isolated idea about it. How does it fit to the picker? That is actually far more important. And that's what I'm going to take you through. Because when we eat breakfast, we take part in a continuum. We continue something that we started and we provide the foundation for something that will now grow into something bigger. The meridian field that will support and do that starts in the moment of waking up by being in the lung meridian. And we are receiving the chi for the new. Because, mystically speaking, we're returning back to the body after having been away in the other side. Now, and when we wake up, we're returning. And that is why the lung meridian. So we're coming back with new instructions. We've got new ideas and new understandings. And now we are eager to go back in again and share with others. But also to make ourselves perfect and complete. So that then, in the lung meridian, as we receive with the breath, then automatically now moves into the next meridian, which is the large intestine meridian. And that's the meridian of letting go. It's the detox meridian. That lets everything go to the bottom. And that's exactly the elimination phase. So after we receive the new, it's pushing out the old. And as it's pushing out the old, what happens now is it's an empty vessel. Now it can receive the new. And what it now receives is the chi of the new, but in conjunction with the needs of the physical, because we need to produce here. We need to create. The physical means I create. And our body is I create. And now when we have breakfast, we now go into that same terminology with the same mantra, I create. So that's actually the holy mantra for breakfast. I create. So as we now have the breakfast, what happens is now it will actually create the body as in conjunction with the bigger picture. What happens now in this moment is the meridian of the stomach that now moves to the spleen now is preparing the ground, the soil, for it then to blossom and for harvesting something big during the day. You're planting the ground, you're fertilizing the ground. So then later, all throughout the day, you're reaping the benefits of that what you are planting. So therefore, breakfast is about planting the idea that you are creating yourself. And from then on, it will start now blossoming. Because the meridian, after the stomach time, after the stomach when we eat, now moves to the spleen. The spleen now makes all this soil fermentation, which we call blood in Chinese medicine. Then from then on, it moves to the heart. 
and now it expresses itself in its glory. And from then it moves into the small intestine and it will be taken to the smaller particles. And then it collects itself in the bladder meridian and now settles itself into the ground. By that time, it is 5 p.m. So we have received a lot and now it goes into the kidney and it unifies the balance of the yin and the yang before we go back to pericardium. And what happens now? We're getting ready to travel back into the other side of the world to receive the information for the next mission on the next day. So that's the sleep time. So what happens here in this process around going back to bed is still part of what we created at breakfast time. Because to go into the sleep state, we need to have a very specific yin value. That yin value then allows us to switch off, to go into this beautiful drifting away. And then together with that meridian called San Jiao, it will now drift us and shift us and move us into the other world. However, that yin that we fertilized and fermented in the mornings during breakfast now will become available and will give us the push. So you could say, I have good breakfast so that I can sleep sound. How that sounds? <laughs> you actually treat insomnia at the time at breakfast. As you probably noticed, you can't treat insomnia when you can't sleep. It's too late. Therefore, breakfast looks at everything what happens throughout the day. And everything what we just construct throughout the day is in fact essential for health and well-being. And that is the process of the breakfast. So once again, the fermentation, how is this process working? When we wake up, the soil returns via the lung meridian. It now takes all that information to the body. We're doing the breath work. We're receiving the new, we're feeling the bliss of the divine love. And we're merging with divine love. We're realizing that we are divine love in our nature. And then this bliss of the breath moving through the body. Now we're getting into the creation of the body. So we do the exercise. We're working with core training. We're working with TRX. We're working with Tai Chi. We're working with weights. We're working with anything in order to create this body because we are here to create. And the body is, I create. And then when we finish it, we have letting go of all that old because the new that has come in has replaced and completely eliminated the old from the previous day. We don't have any of this emotional jargon or any form of the emotional junk from the previous day. The new has come in through the exercise. We created it and now we one with all there is. And now we're sitting down to have a beautiful, warm, nourishing, cooked breakfast. And we're sitting down to have that breakfast with that mantra, I create. And we see the fertilization of that soil that is now blossoming and because it's stomach time while we eat. And we can see how it's moving up. And the foods that we eat in the mornings, we have that what makes life spring forward. And that is simply good seeds with good grain. So the breakfast, that fits into this category of I create is made out of grain and seeds. So there's various forms of grain. So my favorite are the oats. Other people like the quina. Other people like barley. So you need to experiment what works with you. There are so many different options. So we're looking at about eight different grains to experiment with. You can even blend them with. And you can even use buckwheat, which is a pseudo-grain, or quina as a pseudo-grain, in case you're too scared of the carbs and putting on weight, because, as you probably know from my weight loss programs, and etc., it's not about the grain that causes weight gain. It's qi flow and qi stagnation, which is the key for a perfect weight. And anyway, that's a different story. Check out my course for that, um, The New Ways to Lose Weight, if you want to get into this. The fact when it comes back to breakfast is, we are fermenting the soil, We're creating a beautiful soil because when the soil is moist, when the so soil is fertile, what happens is it can spring forward. And that soil is made from grain, healthy organic grain. 
and then the seeds in there then allow that springing forward so that it can create itself. My favorite seeds are poppy seeds, black cumin seeds, combined, mixed together with a good grain and fresh ginger and cooked slowly with cinnamon and with cacao and with all other spices and pepper and then beautiful organic honey on top of it and some nice stewed apple or blueberries in there and then sit in there and then while you eat you're transcending into your body into the soil because the stomach energy that's what the meridian is now doing all the work for you to prepare for the rest of the day it's earth element and that means it's earthing so while you have the breakfast you warm you let yourself sink 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 that means you don't listen to news, you don't have erratic music on. It's nice, angelic, beautiful crystal music. Music from the cosmic. Music that takes you away, that makes you travel. Because that's what the spirit wants. It wants to be roaming the sky, the heavens, and to be one with all there is. And then the chi that returns while it's in stomach time, the earth elements now fermenting the soil and the seeds and the grain together with your perception of being one with all there is, and then eating in peace. Whoa. I create. And you can feel the chi is coming in, becoming one with the God, divinity, the consciousness. And then, warm, you're drifting away. And you give in to the taste, you're floating away with it. And then you sit back for a while and then slowly you can feel the energies coming up because now the next meridian, the spleen meridian, now is activated and now it says ready for work and that's exactly what's happening now. You feel ready to create because this is the whole purpose of breakfast. I create. I create as in accord with what I receive. I create as in court with the unified field. I create as in conjunction with the bigger picture. That means I am part of the bigger, but I'm contributing to the bigger by being this little part here that then becomes part of the bigger. And a good breakfast also creates strong body. Good breakfast means good muscles. Good muscles means execution of your ideas. And following up on your ideas means you are happy. And if you're happy, you're healthy. And if you're healthy, you impact on others. And if you impact on others, you contribute to world peace. So therefore, we don't skip breakfast because we create.